Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have filmed for you guys me creating this makeup look right here. So the reason why I decided to create this makeup look is just because of we're in summer and you know pink and shimmer gives me some summer vibes so i wanted to add a lot of shimmer and a lot of pink and i am obsessed with the way that this turned out but anyways before we continue if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe down below right now also make sure you click that little notification bell button it's right next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out from any of my upcoming new videos and if you would like to follow me on instagram at natalie Rea, that's how you could find me but anyways if you would like to see how i accomplish this makeup look just keep on watching to prep my face, I'm going to go in with the Aloe Vera Soothing Gel Spray followed by the Aveeno Moisturizer, pretty much rubbing that all onto my face. And then I'm going to move on to my foundation, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and blending that in with probably the biggest beauty blender ever. For my concealer, I really don't think this needs an introduction. You guys already know it's a Shape Tape Tarte Concealer. I'm pretty much using this to cover my entire lid and to shape my eyebrows. And then I go in with a Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I take Georgia and I apply that right on the crease line and a little bit over. For the second shadow, it is Candied Peach. It's one of my favorite pink colors in this palette and I do take a smaller brush. Also apply this on the crease line just a little bit below the last shade. And then I go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette and I use the hottest pink in there and add it on the sides of my eyelids and then I just try to connect them. On the top and for the main shadow I go in with this liquid I don't know eyeshadow by lime crime in the shade lit and I apply this right on the center and then going back in with the hot pink applying it to my bottom lash line with the liquid eyeshadow and then for my second coat of foundation once again then I go in with the concealer and finally do the whole concealer and contour so I do that and I'm using two of them the shape tape and this wet and wild one this is only like three dollars and I'm obsessed with it I don't know I feel like it has a peachy tone which is perfect for my under eyes. Like it works a lot better than the shape tape for some reason. To bake my under eyes, I go in with the Kat Von D Lock It Brining Powder in the shade Golden. And I've been using this technique for a while now and I love it. For some reason, I only like that for under my eyes. So for the rest of my face, I go in with the Airspun Translucent Setting Powder just to set the rest of my face. Then I go in with the Hula Bronzer to kind of contour my face. I do the nose as well and I make sure to connect it to like, you know, you know, I make sure to contour the nose. So after that, I dust off all the excess powder and then I go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, which I am obsessed with and I go ham with it. Like I bronze my entire face. The blush that I use is the NARS in the shade Orgasm, which has been one of my favorites since day one. I pretty much go over all of the bronzing nets that I just added just to add color to that as well. Then for my eyelashes, you know, I went ahead and put some falsies on. I do do the single eyelashes. For my lips, I do take both of these shades. I go in with the color cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade dulce k and i apply that all over my lips i swear i'm the worst at applying liquid lipstick point proven right here anyways after that i go in with the anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade strip which is one of my favorite ones and i basically apply this over every single liquid lipstick just to make them like a little bit lighter and more nude so after the lips i always try and set my face so oh 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 i go in with this aloe vera soothing gel spray one of my favorites and yeah i use this as a setting spray as well and it also makes it easier for my highlighter to stick to my face so I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter which is my favorite highlighter and I have not gone anywhere without this highlighter I swear like I just I'm obsessed with it as you can tell I want to put it everywhere I put it under my brows and then a little bit on top as well on the nose and the cupid's bow and then also the inner eyes yes like why not Alright guys, that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not subscribed to join the Rhea family. And also comment down below what were your thoughts for this makeup look. Also, if you have any video suggestions, leave them down below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys!